New at 630, if you were anywhere near the Gallatin area 10 years ago today, you were probably in shock. 10 years ago today, uh, on this date 10 years ago, 2.23 p.m., an F3 tornado touched down on the campus here at Vol State. Dr. Jerry Faulkner wasn't president of Volunteer State Community College at the time, but he knows how important this 10-year anniversary of the tornado is. Statistically, you know, we can, we can talk about numbers. 95 vehicles were damaged or destroyed. Uh, approximately 70 trees on the campus were uh, uh, ripped up or broken down. I understand that all 16 buildings on the campus received some damage. One of those who remembers the day very well is Beth Cooksey, the school's vice president of business and finance. We were probably only there two or three minutes before I realized this is going to actually be something. And then it was over really quickly and we opened the door. I could not believe what had happened. All of the glass in my office had blown out. Small sticks had impaled themselves in sheetrock. There were tree limbs inside. We listened carefully for radio updates. All involved agreed that everyone worked together to make sure students, staff, and visitors were safe, but that one group of employees, the building coordinators, stood out. Have always taken this seriously and with pride. Um, they're willing to do whatever we ask them to do. They're here with their yellow vest on, how, and they are not really flattering at all. The campus police department could not do what we do without your help. There are too many buildings here and too few officers to do what you all help guide and usher people to do. And Deborah Lindsay is one of those coordinators. The main thing that affected me, I believe, is when we walked out, when you have that sense of relief. They've, they've given the announcement, they've called the radio and said, OK, you're free to take your people to the next building. We're going to do a head count, and it's, it's over. Now, since that day 10 years ago, a number of positive changes have been made, including an outside loudspeaker alert system being installed and a responsive phone intercom system for every classroom and office. And if you'd like to take a look at any of our stories from the day the tornado hit, you can find them online at newschannel5.com.